Welcome to Culprit. We have been at the forefront of using iPod Touches in the K-12 environment. We have a one-to-one -one initiative underway. Now we are excited about our next step, which is having students not only using apps, but making them too. We know students must see themselves as programmers, particularly as our students of color and our female students. We are excited about collaborating with our university partners, the School of Education and the School of Information and Library Sciences. I think I'd create a flashcard app that you can just type in a question and type in an answer and then you can quiz yourself on that. Or I would do a textbook app so it's easier for us to just click on an app and find it of all our textbooks in our class. Varsity app, it would be an app to help out the community like the community calendar. Each day you do different stuff for your community. Like go to the homeless shelter, help out there, donate food to someone you don't know, or give a little change to the homeless person off the street. One of the strengths of this project is its strong collaboration with the UNC School of Information and Library Science. Rated number one in the U.S., the School of Information and Library Science at the University of North Carolina produces some of the best children's librarians school media specialists, and school technicians working with the School of Education. Also, this work will be shared in an open source, free software kind of way so that the students can connect and work with people around the world with their own applications. We don't have to use as much paper making it so we can save money because we don't have to use as much supplies and stuff to make pencils and paper and notebooks. Good. Andy? If, when we want to use the internet or something, we can just go right on there. Instead of having to have everyone go to a computer, we can all just go on our iPods. Good.